Strawberry. Good morning. Would anyone like a fruit muffin before our dance rehearsal? <sighs> Doesn't look like we're having a dance rehearsal. Oh? Why not? We can't get inside the studio. Plum isn't answering the door. Maybe she's still asleep. Uh, huh? That's not right. Oh my. That doesn't sound good. Tried that. I don't think she can hear us because of the music. Yes? Oh, hi, everybody. Have you been knocking? Oh, sorry. I'm just very busy. What can I do for you? Uh, you called us here for a dance rehearsal. Bright and early? Is it bright and early already? I'm afraid so. Oh, would you like a muffin? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. It's just, I want it to be perfect. What's all this? My extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year the big bitty city dancers pull up a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but Plum, the dance off is only a week away. All this? Yeah. I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to. Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance-off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun. They're great. Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about. Our best, our perfectest. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, perfectest is not a real word, but you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is going to be our year. The year Berry Bitty City takes the dance off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. We, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. Like the dance we did last year? Exactly. We lost last year. Ooh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except dust? Do you know what should be here? Uh. A dusting cloth? Ugh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. We understand, Plum. It's just... What if we help you simplify the steps a little? Yes. For example, this step could be simpler if we did just the first part. Or we could divide up the parts so each of us is doing the steps we're best at. Like, I'm really good at kicks, and Orange is so good at spins. That's a great idea. But that's not my vision. We have to do this dance. My dance. Or we won't stand a chance. Well, this is important to Plum. Let's give her way a try. All together now. Five, six, seven, eight. This 
foot goes here. This foot is over there. Like so. Up here and hold it just like this. And five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Uh, Night. All right. Because it's our first rehearsal, I'll keep it short. <sighs> but be back here tomorrow, bright and early. And when you sleep at night, I expect you all to dream of the dance. Uh, do you think Plum's taking this too far? If you asked my feet about it, they'd say yes. I know, but it means so much to Plum. Besides, it's only for a week, and then comes the dance-off. Oh, six more days of this? My toes are gonna fall off. Practice, practice, not a moment to lose. And five, six, seven, eight. that we can be here to dance in your always delightful dance-off. Yeah! <laughs> How can we possibly beat them? We have to work even harder. And to give us the edge, I've designed some special additions to the dance. Oh, no! More stuff to learn? But, but we haven't learned the first dance. I've designed a new hairdo for everyone to wear when we dance. It'll make us look like a team. For me, please, could you try it out? Are you sure this will work? Of course. I designed it. Oh, Raspberry, I've got an exercise to help you with your posture. Please balance this vase on your head. And whatever you do, keep it there until tomorrow. Whoa! I don't know about this. We'll have to design a whole new outfit to go with this vase. Trust me, it'll work. This is the greatest book ever written about dance. Please have it read by tomorrow, Blueberry. I'll try. Orange, I would appreciate it if you would pick as many glimmer berries as possible. Glimmerberry juice is super nutritious and will help give our team mega endurance. So please get tons. But tons! And me? Just keep practicing, even while you cook. Please, don't ever stop. Over twice and under once. Then around the side, root to ends, and back again. Huh? Ah, my hair! <laughs> These new lovely leotards are going to look spectacular. Oh! 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 oh. Bitter berries. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh. How can I possibly read all of this tonight? We just had a very large harvest. Only 
the glimmer berries on top are left, and even our highest ladders cannot reach them. And there's no higher ladders? <laughs> I've got an idea. Huh? <laughs> Just a little higher. Almost there. Get it. You're doing it. Plum. And she said tons, so we're going to get tons. Five, six, seven, eight. Here you go. Jeté. And breathe. Right. By tomorrow, my dancers will be so good, nothing can stop us from winning. We have one more rehearsal before the dance-off. Can't, won't, impossible, what? But I can't leave the salon. Maybe ever again. But why? Remember your new team hairdo? <laughs> Great idea, wasn't it? I can't be seen in public. People will run screaming. It's not so bad. Okay, maybe it is. I'm sorry, Plum, but I'm sure it'll work out much better without me. But... but... there has to be a way. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Bring me an extra large paper bag to put over my head. I'll just have to replan the dance a bit. Coming! Okay, Plum, ready, willing, and able to dance off. What's that noise? Sorry, Plum, but it fell off my head and I stepped in it and it's stuck. Well, we have to get it unstuck. <laughs> I have a better idea. Why, Raspberry, what are you wearing on your foot? Her new dance shoe. Looks like a vase. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. But I'm sure it will work out better without me. But, but... Okay, okay, stay calm. I still have three other dancers. I read the whole book, Plum. It took me all night, but I did it. But now my eyes are so tired. I can't see straight. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Are you sure that's your hand? I thought it was your foot. <gasps> wow! I asked for tons and I got tons! This is great, Orange! Uh, Orange? Orange? Thanks for mashing all the glimmer berries into juice, but aren't you gonna come dance? No! Why? What's wrong? <gasps> what happened? I got some on me. Oh, I've been washing and washing, but it's gonna take until tomorrow to get these stains out. But, but the dance off is today. Hi, Plum. Your feet. What happened to your feet? Uh, all that dancing while cooking you wanted me to do? Oh, it gave me blisters on my feet. I can't dance. <gasps> I'm sorry, Plum. But at least the other girls can dance. No, they can't either. What? I've lost my A-team. What am I gonna do? Hmm. <gasps> what about your B-team? B-team? B as in Berrykins. B as in bad dancers, you mean. They were on our team last year, remember? I think that's part of the reason why we lost. But Plum... Remember, Berrykins have different skills, so you might want to modify the dance a bit to suit them. Well, I'll try it. I don't know what else I've got to lose.
And five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> together, stay together. <laughs> On the beat. On the beat. <laughs> Stand still, not on your head. <laughs> stop, stop, please. You've got it all wrong. No, that is not the way my dance is. <clears throat> it's just about time for the dance off, everyone. <gasps> the dance off? Now? Welcome, everyone, to the annual Very Bitty City Dance-Off, featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Very Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers. dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the Very Bitty City Dancers begin. Uh, I can't go on. We can never be that perfect. It would just be too humiliating for me. For you, what would it be for the Berrykins? What? The Berrykins? And what would it be for all of Berry Bitty City who pitched in to help put on this dance-off? Um, but, but... And what about the other girls who rehearsed your dance? Everyone works so hard for you. But all look silly! Maybe. Maybe not. But this dance-off has to do with all of Berry Bitty City. And our guests, the Big Bitty City Dance Team, too! Not just you, Plum. Those dancers came all this way to dance for us. And to see us dance as well. But we dance like we dance. The Berrykins are different. Why not let them dance the way they dance best? Wouldn't that be more fun for them? You're right. I haven't been making this fun for anyone. Berrykin dancers? What kind of dance steps would you like to do? Oh, wiggle, build a tower, do some leapfrogging, bouncing. <laughs> all right, everyone. Those are all great ideas. What do you think? Let's dance. But don't do it my way. Let's do it our way. Let's have some fun. And now for our second group of dancers from your very own Very Bitty City, the Very Bitty City Dancers! Although this is a friendly contest, we do have to choose a winner. 
And it is the decision of the judges that for originality, teamwork, and enthusiasm, the winners are... The Berry Bitty City Dancers! I guess their way isn't the only way to dance well. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's ideas, yours, the other girls, and the Berry Kings. They all made for a better dance. <laughs> Just wait till next year. I'll design an even better dance with everyone's ideas in it. And my only rule, it has to be fun. And five, six, seven, eight. Let's open every door. We're gonna explore and do the things we always want. enough of the limelight. So I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's... A long way. <laughs> uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh! Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more?
one more thing with the bus. Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in very many city. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to very big city. Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since. <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> You're right! Where will my customers go? Look what will happen to us! We'll be lost! We'll be lost. A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us, and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. <gasps> Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! Eric and Belle! What? Did I miss a spot? I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was... Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. 
<sighs> okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? <gasps> Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh Barrack and Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, <laughs> I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! <laughs> 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 We're all packed. We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... Uh, we're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that, Orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Uh, not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need... Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. And we shall begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I... No! Not that one! Wee, this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! <sighs> Well, then, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... who... Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea! <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinking slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yeah! Read 
no, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Uh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Is everything all right, Berrykin Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They... Slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Well, let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. <laughs> a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? Do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. <laughs> Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I know the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? 
Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead. A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Everybody, I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Oh, hi, Berry Kinboom. Thank you so much for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh, no, it's fun. And I love the built-in hopometer. Jaded Bug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Kinboom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You... Aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Very Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed. Not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of... Mm, sad. No, I mean... Look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams! That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom. A vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. Good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <sighs> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See you, Bosley. <laughs> Berry Bitty World Traveler magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but... But what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we going to do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. Uh, didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba, 
infernal shoot slipper? Oh, what? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Tried they, treasure the find, could they, top the to get, could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on, we may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they, top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only end? <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> uh, 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 oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh, worried about? Uh, well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? Mm, no. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can do spirit. Stacking can do spirit, that is. Ha ha ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. Wait! Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in very many worlds. Yeah. And after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo. Oh, boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. 
And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Orange. Oh, hi, Buzzly Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Barang, are you in there? as poofy as it was, a uh, poofier even. Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes. I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. 
Doctor! Doctor Hazelnut Bee. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Congratulations, Berry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface. It all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrican Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! Good morning, Strawberry, and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks. My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Barry Kimbloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls, see if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. 
Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom custard? Huh? Oh, you're right. There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh, I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no, what? What? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flapjacks? We've got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you, you closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You, you did that for me? Of course. Oh, we want to help. That's what friends, friends are for. for. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes! What can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure. Um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls. Let's get going. <laughs> Great! Bloomin' butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet! I told Strawberry two weeks! Oh no, no! The marketplace isn't ready yet! There's no place to put all of you until it's finished! What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to read. I'll find a place. Hey, I'm hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. 
But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Great idea. Perfect. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. Long as it has a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> Just hearing things. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh well. If life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. Now I'm seeing things. <laughs> uh, onions? <laughs> How'd these get in there? of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle, maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it! The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait! I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange aura room fragrance. <laughs> she said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer! <laughs> hey! There's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> Nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little powerful in here. Let's 
let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate! Give it a chance to unscent. Ew! What a smell! Whoa, whoa, Ugh, whoa! That is rich! Let me out of here! In bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Barry and Bill. I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Barry Betty Buildings Digest for their Best Built Betty Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in the Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow when you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Berry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> and I love having a book. I mean, lots of books right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. Well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite, uh, refreshing. Kiwi? Hmm. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. 
I smelled. What were they doing up there? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem, we can now! <gasps> Colliding Kiwis! We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow! We're on it. Now let's get a move on, clean up these Kiwis. We're gonna have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrykin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrykin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Barrican Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweet enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm. I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. Oh, I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh, uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh. Strawberry scent. Oh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> huh? A place to put down your ideas for the marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> Muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. We start with the box step. Remember, you're gonna make a square. From first position, parallel, cross right over left, back with the left, to the side with the right, and left in front, completing the square. And with me, Right cross, left back, right side, left front. That's it. You're getting it, Strawberry. <laughs> now the big finish. Kickball change, pot de beret, and pique turn. Pot de beret and pique. Oh! Whoa! Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, Plum. That last part's very tricky. Can we try it again? Sure. You'll get the hang of it. One more time, Cherry. Here we go, Strawberry. Kickball change, pot of beret, and pique turn. 
Fetch, boy. Nice job. Great to take a break from Berry Big City and relax in the country, huh? Easy now. <laughs> We're a great team, huh, Tom Tom? You and me always have been, always will be. Hey, what's that? You hear it? Sounds like it's coming from town. Oh, it's gonna take lots of practice to learn that kickball change, pot de beret, and PK turn at the end. Apple and I have been working on something that might help. How's it coming, Apple? Yep, it's coming. One more sec and... Go! Okay. I recorded Plum dancing the steps. What are you two up to? Oh, just you wait. You're never gonna believe this. And I have a surprise. Remember these guys? Groove booties? Do I <laughs> remember? Remember you and me chasing those things all over town? I thought they disappeared. At least I hope they did. Well, <laughs> funny thing. Uh-huh. I'm not laughing. <laughs> now, now, chill for a sec, Strawberry. Apple has reprogrammed them. They are perfectly harmless. Those things are a hazard. Not anymore, I promise. Now they are, uh, uh, instructional. Watch this. I'm downloading Plum's choreography. And ta-da! The Groove Booties are now teach you how to Groove Booties. And music! Look at those booties groove! Well, you seem to have taught them how to behave, Apple. Cherry, don't stop playing! Plum, take five. If everything works, the Groove Booties know the moves now and they'll dance on their own. Once they learn the steps, they can take the tune and run with it, so to speak. <laughs> Tame is an old slipper. Are you ready to try them on, Strawberry? What? Who? Me? That's what this is all about. They're a teaching tool. They'll help you get a feel for the tough steps. You, uh... You're sure this is safe? The only risk is you'll turn into too good a dancer. <laughs> or the computer crashes and your feet get deleted. What? Hey, tech humor. Just step into them. They shrink or grow to fit any feet. Well, okay. Ready? Hit it, Cherry! Just relax. They'll help steer you. <laughs> it's like the shoes know what I'm doing before I do it. Here it comes. PK turn. Keep your toes crossed. Oh, yeah! I did it! <gasps> did you see that? <laughs> yeah! Whew! <laughs> so, did my groove booties give your feet a helping hand? In a very big way. You can wear them, or they can dance in demo mode. Dance teaching groove booties. Whoa, very cool. Looks like they work for more than just me. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Do you have any more of these things, Apple? I can make more. Why? I think I'm having a thought. Okay, Cherry. Hit it.
here's where the music's been coming from, Tom Tom. Wow, dancing dogs, now that's talent. Hey, 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 I just had the greatest idea. What if we put on a show to let everyone see these guys dance? Yeah, they sure seem to be having fun. We'll invite everybody to be a part of it. Uh-oh, I hope she isn't gonna ask me to dance in front of people. This is my worst nightmare. Come on, boy. Huckleberry? <laughs> is that you? When did you get here? Oh, uh, hi. Just, uh, now. You are visiting us at the perfect time. Guess what? Uh, cafe is closing lunch, so I better get over there as fast as I can. Nah, silly. We're gonna have a dance show. <gasps> One night only. Plum Studio goes to the dogs. See the dynamic dancing doggies. Oh, wait. Why just two dogs? A canine trio! <laughs> this is gonna be huge! Oh, so just dogs up on stage there dancing, right? That's right! Would Tom Tom like to audition? Well, yeah, but just him, right? Not me. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole idea. Just dogs. Great, huh? <sighs> you have no idea how great. Those dogs sure were talented. We better teach you to dance like them or Plum won't choose you. I'll just ask Blueberry for a book on how to dance. The book will teach me and I'll teach you. Easy. Hold it. She might think I want to learn to dance. That would be not good. She'd want to help teach me herself and I'd have to dance in front of her. Sheesh. Wonderful. Yeah, forget the book. This wasn't the best plan. Oh, hello. Huck, hi, Tom Tom. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hi, Blueberry. So glad you're here. How have you been? How's everything in Berry Big City? Great. Just on our way to, uh, and thought I'd stop by to, uh, borrow a book. Don't tell me. The new Patty Persimmon mystery? Yeah, something like that. Help yourself. I have to go help Lemon alphabetize her fingernail polish collection. She isn't sure whether to put the mauve morning before or after the meringue mist. Be back later. Take your time. Oh, and thanks. Whew. Come on, Tom Tom. I've been saved by nail polish. How to dance. How to dance. Mastering the mambo. Tangling with the tango. Broken break dance, what your instructor didn't tell you. Learn to dance in three easy lessons. Amaze your friends. Ow, 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 ow. Perfect. Like that, huh? Let's get out of here before Blueberry. You're back already. <sighs> Lemon didn't need me after all. Can you believe it? Instead of by name, she's organizing her nail polish by color. Oh, good. You found something? Yeah, uh, um, uh, uh, well, oh, you going to Plum's Dancing Dog Show? Absolutely. It's going to be great fun. She's looking for a third pup, but my Scouty has a sore paw. Well, you never know. Maybe some puppy will step up and help her. Like you, Tom Tom? Want to get up on the big stage and dance for everybody? Boy, does he ever. It'd be wonderful if you could. I know Plum would so appreciate it. Hey, I always like to help a friend. Come on, Tom Tom, we got things to do. No one will see us here, boy. Okay, step one. Dance begins with music. Right, <laughs> even I knew that. First, find a good tune. Check. Step two. Taking your first step. Try this easy move. Left foot out. Left foot in. Left out. In. Huh, that wasn't hard. You try, Tom Tom. Come on, boy. Do what I do.
Left paw out, left paw in. Way to go, boy. Now what? Repeat twice. Left out, left in. Left out, left in. Uh-oh, we're falling behind. Right foot out, right foot in. Right out, right in. Repeat, left foot out, right foot. Left, repeat, right. Left, repeat, faster now, faster, repeat, repeat, no, your left foot, your other left! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine, that's great. No music, no lessons, no lessons, no dance, no dance, no show. The girls are really going to be disappointed with me. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you want to play, huh? Okay, boy. Fetch! <laughs> you might not think so, but I think you're a pretty good dancer. Huh? <laughs> Oh, hey, Plum. Didn't know anybody was watching. I mean, didn't see you there. That was a cool little move you guys did. You can really dance. <laughs> oh, hey, no, I, I can't really. I mean, I, I'm not... Hiya, Tom Tom. You can dance, can't you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, 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 oh. I know raw talent when I see it. You think? Seriously? So, he doesn't need to audition? Nah. I have a special way to teach him the steps really fast. Really? Yeah. We'll have him on stage in no time. Can you bring him by the studio in an hour? We'll need a little time to get him ready. We'll be there. Right, Tom Tom? Oh, Huck, you saved the show. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, you know. Anything I can do to help, I know how important these shows are to you guys. Well, I can't thank you enough. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Tom Tom. You're gonna be my star. You're okay with this, aren't you, boy? <coughs> That's what I thought. Good thing you don't have stage fright like me. Come on. Tom Tom. Come on, boy. You know how much this means to Plum, don't you? Hi, Tom Tom. <laughs> Ready for the show? Well, he's really excited, but he just needs a little help with his dance moves. No prob. I have learning to dance all computerized. Groove booties. They'll help anybody learn to dance. Sounds great. So, Tom Tom, want to give it a try? Okay, Jerry, hit it. <laughs> wow, that's great. See? Easy peasy. Here you go, boy. Wow, that's it. That's it, Tom Tom. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> uh, we're ready for you. We'll be right there. Come on, boy. Time to go on stage. Show everybody what you can do. Hey, totally 
happy to do it at any time. Okay, meet at Lemon's shop in one hour to get these pups prepped. The lemon's gonna make you look great. How's that look, Pupcake? You look very handsome, boy. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. Is everything okay, Huck? Sure. I mean, I don't know if. Uh, not really. I don't know what's the matter with him. Are you sure Tom Tom likes to dance? He loves to dance. Well, when he's with me. I wonder if he doesn't like dancing in front of a lot of people, like someone else I know. Nah, that's not it, is it, boy? Huck, I know you want to help us with the show, but are you sure you aren't making him do something he doesn't want to do? <laughs> oh, he'll be fine once the show starts. Come on now, Tom Tom. Any sign of Huck and Tom Tom? Not yet, but I'm sure they'll be here soon. Huck said they would. If they're not here in five minutes. <sighs> Tom Tom, can't find him. He's gone. Have you seen him? No. This isn't like him. He doesn't just disappear. Something must have happened to him. I found these. He must have left them behind, but no Tom Tom. Come on, I'll help you find him. Tom Tom. Tom Tom. Tom, Tom. Tom Tom! Tom Tom! Oh, do you think he might be hiding on purpose? Why would he do that? He loves to dance. You want to see us when we're playing. Tom Tom! When it's just you two, there's a big difference. Play dancing with a friend and performing in front of others. I hate to think of him out there somewhere all alone because of me. Do you and Tom Tom have a special place? Uh, somewhere you like to go? Yeah, that's got to be where he is. Come on, Strawberry. That was the Dither Dance from the ballet Berries in Springtime. Tom Tom! Tom Tom! <sighs> you came back to our favorite spot, huh? Tom Tom, I'm sorry. I never should have tried to make you do something you didn't want to do. Can you forgive me, boy? He must think you're going to make him dance for us again. See these? You don't have to wear them. Ever again. See? Gone. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's okay now. <gasps> the show's starting. Don't worry. I'll tell Plum.
You'll see! There! There you go, Orange! Thanks, Raspberry! It's perfect! But I still don't understand what it's for. This! <laughs> standing on each other's shoulders rule. I know what it needs. <laughs> hey, Orange! That's not fair. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? There's no rule against it. In fact, I haven't made up any rules yet. is no match for two birds. Orange. What do you call it? Uh, I don't know. It's a ball stuffed with dandelion fluff. So how about we call it Dandy Ball? <gasps> yes, Dandy Ball. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Way to go, Orange. Great idea. I love it. <laughs> Ever so carefully, the little berry can tiptoe up the stairs of the cat. <laughs> time in here this morning? Sure, but it's such a beautiful day outside. It's, um, a little busy outside. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't imagine a more perfect day for a needle-pointing picnic. <laughs> Hello. Aren't 
Aren't you needle pointing today? Well, we got so caught up in the excitement of Dandy Ball. So, we thought maybe we'd finish our picnic in here. <laughs> so, you know, we won't get distracted. <laughs> Hi, Plum. Hi, Strawberry. I was wondering if I could ask a favor. Of course. What do you need? I need some help clearing part of the meadow. Sure. I'd be glad to help. <gasps> so, what are we clearing this for, Plum? So I'll have space to use for my dance recital. Wait a minute. I thought the dance recital was going to be near the gazebo. It was. But with Dandy Ball being so popular, I thought it'd be easier to just move. Hmm. There's plenty of room outside for everyone. Dandy Ball shouldn't be getting in anybody's way. And there should be plenty of room to play Dandy Ball, too. Right! Everyone should be able to enjoy themselves and the outdoors with just a bit of planning. Oh, oh yeah, yes, of course! Yes, yes, yes. Good idea! So, who should do the planning? I'd volunteer, but I have to finish the costumes for Plum's recital first. That's right! Hmm. And I need to practice. Who would be good? Well, since I was the one who sort of got the ball rolling... Make that floating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be the one to figure out a way to keep things fair for everybody. Maybe I could figure out, oh, I don't know, some sort of schedule. Oh, what about lemon? Me? <laughs> yeah! You schedule appointments all day, and the problem here seems to be all about scheduling. Huh. I guess it is about scheduling. Okay, I'll give it a try. Is that okay with you, Orange? You did volunteer first. Oh, no problem. I think Raspberry's right. Lemon will do a really good job. Besides, I'm pretty busy with my store right now. And with the new game, I've kind of gotten behind. I'll see you later. Okay, Orange. See you later. Once upon a time, there was a big baby berrykin who loved to do somersaults. Mmm, I love that story. What's going on? How come everyone is just standing around? We're waiting for Blueberry's hour to be up so we can play again. Where is Blueberry? Oh, she finished a while ago and went back to her store. So why don't you just go ahead and play? Lemon schedule says we can't until Blueberry's hour is up. But that doesn't make... This doesn't seem quite right. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hey, hi, Strawberry. Strawberry. Is Lemon around? <laughs> Hi, Lemon. How's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Almost got this worked out, I think. One hour for watering plants, one for tasting jam. You know, Lemon, maybe an hour is too long for some activities and too short for some others. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I didn't need a whole hour to read to the Berrykins. And the Berrykins needed more than an hour to play dandy ball. Gee, I hadn't thought of it that way. I'm used to making salon appointments by the hour. I know I can figure this out, but it's taking forever. I don't have any time to do my hair appointments. Maybe uh, someone else could take over while I get caught up? Well, I'm pretty busy, but I suppose... Oh, oh, you know who'd be good at this? Blueberry! Plum's right! Me? Well, yeah, now that I think about it. Research, detail, figuring out numbers. Those are things you're really good at. Well, I do enjoy those things. Oh, 
Okay, I'll do my very best. Oh, thank you. This is great. Here, I'll help you move all the papers. with Blueberry taking over the scheduling? Oh, sure. It's the kind of thing she's good at. She's bound to figure out what's best for everyone. Ooh, I still have lots to do in the store. Better get back to it. Bye. Bye, Orange. Hmm. Aha! Just as I thought. The longitudinal lines have days of the week. Rectangles represent dandy ball. Here's quilting a square. Story time for the baby bearkins is a hexagon. Plum's dance recitals are circles. The book fair, two squares. Well, now that takes care of 9 o'clock Tuesday morning. Now on to Wednesday. Uh, hang on. This is Monday. Oh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> well, um, that concludes the presentation portion of my, um, presentation. But I made a copy of everyone's schedules in handy pocket size, so you can always carry it around. Here you go. This is for you. Here's yours. Uh, here you are. Here you go. This is yours. One for you and one for you. Great, Blueberry! Lots of, um, details, and so thorough. But I don't mind telling you, figuring this out was a bit more complicated than I thought. I'm sure it'll work out just fine, once everyone gets the hang of it. <gasps> What's going on? It's supposed to be my turn for the book fair. I thought I got to have my gymnastics class now. But they all think they get to do their activities now. Oh, oh. My turn! Not fair! It says right here that... I checked twice. I know it's my turn. Wait, uh, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> That's not it. Aha! The outdoors gets used now for... Jadybug surprise birthday party. My birthday isn't for two more months. Wait, what surprise party? I know it's here. I just saw it. I'm sorry, everyone. Listen, we all like dandy ball, right? So for now, let's all play. And I'll try to figure out a better schedule. <laughs> Why not? Okay, dokey. Might as well. Lovely idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this was trickier than I thought. I think I can straighten out the rest of the day, but maybe one of you could give it a try after that. How about you, Raspberry? Oh, well, I'd be happy to try, but I think the perfect person is... You, Strawberry! After all, you schedule activities in the cafe. Maybe, but I wonder if Orange shouldn't give it a try first. Huh. Orange? Sure. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that we don't think she can do it. Oh, no. I mean, she's great at thinking fast. Excellent. But sometimes she kind of... Uh, jumps into things? Yeah. And she's never had to do this kind of planning before. None of us have had to do this kind of planning before. I think if we give Orange a chance, she'll surprise everyone, including herself. Hey everyone! What's going on? Well, Strawberry had this idea. And we wanted to know what you think of it. Her idea is that maybe you should try to organize the outdoor areas. I don't know if I would be good at that kind of thing. Planning, organizing, <laughs> scheduling. And I really do have a lot of work in the store right now. What work do you have to do, Orange? Well, I have to keep track of what people have bought so that I know what I have to reorder. I have to figure out where to put everything I've ordered once it comes in. 
And I have to put everything in its special place on the shelf so that everyone can find what they're looking for. Then I have to do my weekly calendar, you know, where I schedule which days I clean the store, which days I stock the shelves. Sounds like a lot of planning, organizing, and scheduling. Oh, it is. That's why I don't have much time to... What are you all smiling about? Because everything you just said is about planning and organizing and scheduling. Exactly the kind of planning, organizing, and scheduling the community areas need. And I should know. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, this seemed like a pretty big job at first. But I realized it was just like working in my store. I had to start with one activity, then move on to the others. But why didn't I think of that? So I broke it into smaller jobs, and the first job was to organize the game of Dandy Ball. Of course, that makes so much sense. So, I set up six teams. Everyone can sign up to be on a team over there. I'm gonna be on the orange team, naturally. <laughs> I figured out how long it usually takes to play one game. Then added how many games we have to play a week to finish a month-long season. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are Dandy Ball Days. I worked out the whole season. There's even a championship! Oh, yay! <laughs> Once I had the game figured out, I was able to fit everything else into the rest of the week. <laughs> yes! Here's Raspberry's fashion show. Oh, that's perfect! Two hours is just the right amount of time I need to set up. And these are perfect times for story reading. The baby bearkins are awake. All my gymnastics classes are scheduled for when the breeze is nice and cool. And here are the smaller versions of the schedule. Wow, Orange, it looks like you thought of everything. We wish we could have been more helpful. You can be. There are a few things we could still use. Oh, hey! Those teams will need uniforms. I can definitely design them. And Dandy Ball should have a rule book. I've always wanted to write an official rule book. Oh, the team should have someone to cheer them on. I'll go work up some cheerleading routines. Oh, wow, Orange. I'm so sorry we ever questioned whether you could do this. I questioned it, too. It was Strawberry who got me to realize I could do it. The only way to find out what you can do well is to give it a try. Or to find out what you don't do so well. Orange, wait up! Oh, you were amazing! I'm just glad I could help. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Maybe you could help me reorganize the post office. Sure, Jadybug. I'd be glad to. Orange, I need to ask a favor. Certainly, Princess. What can I do for you? I wonder if you could help get the berry ones to run a bit more smoothly. I'll certainly give it a try. Right after I help Jadybug with the post office. There you are. I've been trying to come up with a better way to sort all the books in my store. Maybe you could... Help you organize? Sure. Right after I help Jadybug and Princess Berrykin. 